the blink rate, and ocular protection index. Measurement of the blink rate under standard conditions when taken in conjunction with the tear film breakup time allows a more realistic interpretation of the effects of tear film instability. The blink rate, i.e. the number of blinks per minute, is used to calculate the blink interval in seconds, i.e. 60 divided by the blink rate. This relationship may be expressed simply and numerically using the Ocular Protection Index, or OPI, and used to appraise the likely severity of a dry eye and the response to therapy over time. The Ocular Protection Index. The OPI is the ratio of the breakup time, BUT, to the blink interval, BI, both measured in seconds. If the breakup time is less than the blink interval, then tear breakup is occurring when the eyes are open and the ocular surface is exposed to increased drying in the waking state. If the OPI is greater than 1, then the eye is not exposed in this way and the ocular surface is less at risk of damage. The closer this value is to 0, then the longer the period of increased evaporative loss and the greater the anticipated tear hyperosmolarity and ocular surface damage. This module deals with the measurement of the blink rate, which allows the blink interval and OPI to be calculated. The task and room conditions should be standardized. Use the same room each time, with illumination which is not too bright and with limited airflow. The patient is given a standardized task. In this task, reading from a visual acuity chart. The blink rate can be recorded manually as in the example shown here, or using a video recorder. Whichever method is chosen, it is important that the patient is unaware that the blink rate is being measured, since awareness would influence the result. Here, the patient is asked to read slowly down an ETDRS chart, and the blink rate is recorded manually with the stopwatch. The recorded blink rate and the BUT recorded at the same session are used to calculate the OPI. In the following example, the blink interval is 4 seconds. The right BUT is 7 seconds and the OPI is a healthy 1.75. In the left eye, the BUT is 3 seconds and the OPI is 0.75 and therefore liable to dry eye symptoms. In another patient with the same BUT values, but a BI of 8 seconds, the OPI is less than 1 in each eye, and both eyes are liable to symptoms, with the severity predicted to be greater in the left eye. The investigator should note that the OPI is currently calculated from the ratio of two values collected under standardized conditions. In the real world, both blink rate and BUT will vary according to the effects of visual tasks, environment, and emotional factors. The blink rate falls during reading or viewing of a computer screen and is increased in other circumstances. Therefore, in a given individual, the true OPI will vary from task to task over the course of a day.